What will win in a drag race between a Nissan GTR Nismo that's been tuned and a Tesla Model X Plaid? Well, I'm gonna find out by racing them over a standing quarter mile. I am Matt Watson, and you are watching Car Wow. Let me tell you about this Nissan GTR Nismo. It's got a 3.8 litre twin turbo V6 that puts out a colossal 600 horsepower and 650 newton meters of torque. If it was standard, but it's not. So everything that's bolted onto the car, like exhaust, intake, intercooler, has been upgraded. It's had a remap and the result is 810 horsepower and 890 newton meters of torque. Oh yes. Now this car is owned by a chap called Bill. Thanks Bill for lending me your car. I'll take good care of it because this car is worth 180,000 pounds before the mods and the mods are about 20,000 pounds. <laughs> In terms of weight, I can't remember the weight of this car. Uh, let me guess. I reckon it's 1.7 tonnes. How much does the GTR Nismo weigh? Let's see if I'm right. One, seven, two, five, go me and my geeky car stat memory. What else would you need to know? Okay, it's got a six speed dual clutch automatic gearbox with four wheel drive with a transaxle. So the gearbox is actually at the back. Weird. Nick, you're in the plaid. Can you tell us about the plaid? The plaid has three electric motors combined. They produce 1,020 horsepower, which is, well, it's frankly too much really for a six seat minivan, but it also has 1,420 newton meters of torque, which is frankly even more ridiculous as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> it's a lot heavier than your car though. It's two and a half tons, uh, but it is amazingly, it's cheaper. Well, is it amazing? I don't know, you tell me. It's 127,000 pounds, which I think is about 50 grand less than your car. Okay, that might be the case, but, do you think that the value of this is going to drop much? And do you think the value of that is going to drop much? That's the kicker, isn't it? I think that car is never going to be worth less than it is right now, here today. Well, that depends on what I do to it, doesn't it, really? Now, before we get on with this, if you enjoy these kind of drag races, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. And what we're going to do now is a quick sound test to see which car sounds the best. Right, so Bill's got a special tune on this where I can put it into an exhaust poppy bangy sound by pressing this button here, choosing map one, which is signified by the rev counter moving. And now if I rev it to about 5,000, let off the gas, then blip the throttle, it should make this noise. <laughs> Okay, so as we normally do when there's an ICE car versus an EV, the driver of the EV has to make their own noise to supplement their car's lack of noise. So go on, Nick, what you got for me? Well, first I'm gonna to go to the toy box and I'm gonna put megaphone mode on so you can hear whatever embarrassing noises I make. Are we ready? All right, let's just start this Tesla. <laughs> It's mad that you could just play that out. Say some swear words. Oh, he's drowned himself out. He's turned his radio off. Can you hear me, Nick? Sorry, I was on the wrong channel. <laughs> right, well, I won that. Shall we get on with the racing then? Now, the owner of this Tesla, lovely, modest guy, didn't want to shout out himself, but he did want us to say a massive thank you to the Prostate Project charity on his behalf. So thank you very much to them. It's mad to think that that is such a dull looking car. Then you've got the Cybertruck, which is just, is it from the same company? Three, two, one. <laughs> Wow, this is quick! Come on! Oh, it's spinning its wheels beautifully. Bye-bye, Matthew! Decent, decent 
Right. I reckon I could probably leave the line a bit quicker, maybe. There's a bit of a delay when you lift off the brake on this car, but wow, that hooked really, really nice. Uh, Nicholas, Nicholas, Nicholas. That was quite easy for you, wasn't it? It was, yeah. I just had to remember to breathe because I screamed quite loudly when this launched. <laughs> yeah, it's just like nothing else. Maybe a Tesla Model S, Blad? <laughs> yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah. Just like a Tesla Model S, but about 30 centimeters higher. I think I can probably be a bit quicker off the line. Best two out of three. Give me another chance. I think this car can do slightly better. I will 100% give you another chance because I looked in my mirror and saw a massive flame come out of the exhaust on that car as you crossed the line. I want to see that flame from behind. He wants to see it from behind. Let's do it. Goodness me, Matt, what a launch that was! That's it, come on, I ain't gonna get a better launch than that. Come on! Come on, Tesla! Whoa, whoa, whoa! That launched beautifully. Absolutely blooming beautifully. Surprised to say this, but I actually beat you off the line. That was a mega, mega launch. I know that car is quick, like it's, it's something else, but it's having a particularly good day today. I know, um, but not good enough because you still came past in your two and a half ton electric SUV washing machine. I do feel like I stopped pulling away from you at the end though. I, I reckon that thing might have the legs when we really get to some proper high speeds. But first, this. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Tesla won. It completed the standing quarter mile in 10.3 seconds. The Nissan took 10.6 seconds. Want to sell your car quickly, easily, and for a fair price? Then head to CarWow to have over 4,000 trusted dealers ready to bid on it in an online auction. First, enter your car's registration to get an instant approximate valuation. Then, if you want to proceed, give us some more details and upload some photos, and we'll help you set a fair reserve price for your car. That's the minimum amount you'd be happy to sell it for. Once you've done that, we'll enter your car into an online auction. When the auction's over, we'll let you know the result, and the dealer with the winning bid will be in touch to arrange easy payment and free collection of your car. 93% of sellers surveyed said they got the price they expected, or more, through CarWow. The best bit is, it's completely free! I put a link in the description of this video and the pinned comment to take you directly to CarWow, where over 4,000 dealers are ready to bid on your car. Or you can just click on the pop-out banner that should be appearing in the top right-hand corner of the screen now. Alternatively, just Google Help Me CarWow and we will help you sell your car quickly, easily and for a fair price. On with the video. Right then, Nick, what we're gonna do now is a rolling race, but we're gonna do it from different speeds. I'm gonna go in manual mode, obviously, because it's not fair otherwise. You've got no gearbox to kick down. So I'm gonna go in manual mode. I think I'm gonna go second gear from 30 miles an hour, and then we'll do a third gear, maybe from 50 or 60 miles an hour. We shall see. Race over the half mile, okay? Let's put this washing machine on a fast spin. Right, ready? Three, two, one, go. My goodness, that's even more shocking than the launch. Can I really make it for the half mile? He's still gapping, he's increasing his lead. Oh, I've left him for dead. Nah, still increasing his lead. Okay, Nick, your theory about the rolling race was so wrong. I, I reckon that thing might have the legs when we really get to some proper high speeds. It was, wasn't it? Although I have a sneaking suspicion that I hit the limiter just at the half mile 
So I reckon if you can engineer a way for us to be going more quickly at that point, I will run out of acceleration. Right, what I'm gonna do, instead of going in third gear, I'm probably gonna go in second gear, but like from about 45 miles an hour, see if that helps me. So let's run again. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, wow. He's closer this time, but this still pulls like a train. Wow. Your washing machine is so blooming quick. I've got nothing. I've got nothing to give. You were cow gone there, mate. I absolutely cannot believe how quickly this thing takes off, even when it's moving. This has broken my brain. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna do a brake test from 100 miles an hour. The car that stops in the shortest distance wins. If you wanna watch another drag race, click on the pop-out banner or follow the QR code using your phone right now. If not, stay here for the brake test. That is more than a car's length, isn't it, Nicholas? That's more than a few cars' lengths. That's a, that's a comprehensive victory. Absolutely destroyed me there, didn't you? Yeah, I really love watching cameraman Ollie just run. Up in there, he did a little bit of a skip as well. And that's my GoPros turning off. They've had enough. Why did we say GoPros? It's not. It's a DJI. It's a DJI. We don't use GoPros because they're. By the way, this video is not sponsored by DJI, though DJI, if you want to send some cameras through, I'd appreciate it. The reason why GoPros are is because they always keep failing and crashing and not working and blah. The image is actually very good. It's just they're an absolute arse to use. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you did, give it a like. If you want to see how these cars compare to other cars we have in the drag race, click, 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 yeah, yeah, click on the CarWow logo. And to watch some other videos, there should be some windows floating around. You know what to do, just tap on those and watch those. See you next time. <laughs>